Hey guys, it's zebra time, which is always a good time. It makes me very happy working in my favorite zebra. Um, before we go on, I'd like to mention um, for the people that don't know it, we have a YouTube channel and we have this website called zebratutorials.com. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, check out the website where there's a lot of tutorials on Zebra. And today I want to talk about these ones, the performance controls. Um, maybe you already know them, uh, maybe you think it's very boring. I'm gonna show you a few new ways and you're definitely gonna love this. So let's first work with this presets. This is just in the factory library, uh, loop-ins and then macaroni. And you can see a few presets here like the drippy drums and the macaroni and the mod can. They have this plus sign after the name and that means that the uh, X and Y pads, I always say X but it's X, X and Y pads are uh, assigned to knobs in the preset. What that means is that you can go over to the perform page and you can play the sound and you can drag these dots around and if you go here to uh, X and Y assign you can see where they are assigned to oh. um, let's try another one the macaroni, where is it? Yeah, okay, we can do better than this, I think. Um, let's take a patch from my own my own mind factory library. Um, I'm gonna choose, why not use the sound, the sound we made last week? I think it was last week. The bad cave, the Hans Zimmer sound. Um, Yeah, let's use this one for our example because I already uh, work with this. So let's go over to the uh, X and Y page and we can double click here and this one we're gonna call tune. And this is the tuning, we can double click here again and we'll say the X is the tune. And what is the Y gonna be? Something else. Oh. So now remember what it is and then we can go to the first one here, the X and Y one and we can choose the targets here. So let's use the tuning here, oscillator 2 tuning, oscillator 3 tuning and 4. And now you can see that this has uh, popped up this red and yellow bar and you can see the amount of total modulation by the um, white is that an arrow white arrows here and you can double click and then it uh, sets the total amount and then you see this uh, white line in the middle that is um, that is saying where the position of the knob is at so if I turn this you can see that it's um, that it's actually changing the knob and when you click again you invert the modulation double click again so that's how that works um, this should be on tuning and hang in there this is gonna be cool and for the other axis we're gonna choose what shall we do detune yeah let's choose detune for all of them And in the beginning, this this whole panel kind of confused me, and I thought it was just a bit weird with these little weird arrows and all that stuff. But um, you'll get used to it, and then it's gonna be awesome. So now, if I double click here, I reset it, so everything should be as it was. Sounds pretty good, and then we can change this. So that's pretty cool. 
um, but there are uh, more awesome things that we can do for example let's use the second one for some reverb parameters um, we have to be careful here I think this could get very loud so watch your speakers headphones um, first one is gonna be dry so we control the dry amount then the feedback and <laughs> this could get loud and I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be very random here because I like that and then you get um, results that you wasn't expecting range range is gonna be loud as well and speed okay let's try this there's a cool sound right there very cool sound and it keeps feedbacking but um, this is why why I like this so much this is very random and I couldn't I, could, I couldn't expect this was going to happen and now I can just save the preset like this so if I save it again the dot will be in that exact position and then I have this feedbacking sound that I could use for a bed or anything effect I think I'm gonna save this save version 2 ok and double click to reset and let's choose some other cool stuff that we can do um, let's choose one I get a preset pack for zebra and I made it uh, a while ago but it's still good and all of these sounds have all the um, all the pads assigned to them so let's see So, um, are you already starting to see the uh, great use of it? Because for example if you modulate this in your I mean this is all pretty extreme but if you modulate this in your uh, DAW you can make one patch that is changing changing the the whole time um, let's choose one other example um, <laughs> Let's see what we can make out of this. one 
and then you can just save these um, variations. So uh, another way to set this up is by um, right clicking on the knobs here in the normal synth, um, in the normal synth, and you can say assign to. You've probably seen that box already, and then um, it's a very quick, quick workflow. So if I have an, maybe I'll choose a more advanced patch. So this one, I can just choose anything and assign it to one of these controls and I don't care to be random with this. In most cases I'm, I'm pretty random and I'll just choose some stuff and this one. This one will definitely be cool. A volume. Okay, now we get some random stuff. Because the cool thing is, also, always when you put it back in the middle, it's gonna be the same sound again. So you can't mess it up, but you can you can experiment. <laughs> you get something out of that uh, remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out uh, zebratutorials.com thanks for watching and see you in oh by the way next week i will be making a kick drum sound because i got um, a request for that and it was really interesting and somebody wanted to um, sort of make an analog circuit style kick drum and i haven't looked into it yet but i'm gonna do that for next week and it's a cool challenge so thanks for that, and I'm sorry it has to wait another week. Um, so yeah, that will be next week, a cool kick drum. Uh, see you then. <laughs>